Knife wielding terrorist killed 29, injured 130 at China train station. CNN. Liu Hang said the slaughter began while she and a friend were standing in the ticket hall of a Chinese train. Suddenly, many people started to run around crazily. She said. The Chinese equivalent of Twitter. We saw two people carrying big cleavers, hacking whoever is in the way. They almost got to my back. Then I lost contact with my friend, and I saw blood spreading in front of me. Twenty-nine people were killed and 130 were injured Saturday night when ten men armed with long knives stormed in the station in the southwest Chinese city of Kunming. The state news agency Xinhu reported, member of a separatist the separatist group from Xinjiang is northwest China are believed to have carried out the assault. Authorities said, the report refers to they as terrorists. Police said they killed at least four attackers and shot and wounded a female suspect. Authorities were searching for other suspects. The killing spear came out of nowhere. Yang Hai, a resident of Yangning, told Xinhu he was buying a ticket when a group of people, most of them in black, rushed into the station. With knives, I saw a person come straight at me with a long knife, and I ran away with others. He said, adding that people who were not who were so were surely injured. They just fell on the ground. He said he sustained injuries to his chest, chest and back. Liu Hang said she ran to the main road. I went to a restaurant already with a full crowded, full full crowd. She said the res the restaurant the restaurant owner shut the door for quite some time before reopening. Both my hands and legs were shaking. Qin Hu quoted a 50-year-old woman whose older husband was among those killed. Why are the terrorists so cruel? Said Chen Guzing, holding her husband's blooded ID card. In the aftermath, posting on Sina Weibo, another Twitter-like social medium, showed local police patrolling the station with bodies in blood lying on the ground. Chinese state TV showed investigators putting a knife with a blade at least two feet long into an evidence bag. Mass knife attacks are not unprecedented in China. Some occurred in 2010 and 2012, but the attack happened at school and did not appear to have political con connections. Chinese President Xi Jinping urged law enforcement to investigate and solve the case and punish the terrorists in accordance with the law, according to Xinhu. Xinhu said Kunming Railway Station is one of the largest in southwest China. China primarily Kun asked local authorities to ensure safety at public place. Xinhu reported, two weeks ago, eleven <clears throat> terrorists died in Xing, Xinjiang region. Xinhu reported, frequent outbreaks of violence have visited Xinjiang, a resource-rich area where the arrival of waves of Han Chinese people over the decades has fueled. Tensions with the others, a Turkic-speaking, predominantly Muslim ethnic group. Dozens feared dead, feared dead in Nigeria blasts. 
Dozens of people are feared dead after two explosions were reported in northern Nigeria. The blast happened about two minutes after Saturday evening in the city of Mid Ugri. Residents said the explosion happened as a crowd watched soccer on television. Said resident Gong Kai. It is difficult to say how many people died in the blast, but you are talking of dozens of pe dead people. Said resident Baba Goni Hassan. A security officer said it was not immediately clear how many people had been injured or killed. Maiduguri is the state of Barno in northern eastern Nigeria. That region has been the site of attacks by Boko Haram and Ismaili militant group. Mechanic Daru Sekret said he had and his customers ran for their lives after hearing the explosion. I can see smokes and flames across the road, though I don't know which building is on fire. He said. Another resident, Murtarunan, said destroyed buildings. All the houses in the area shook, and many buildings are. Raised and reduced to rumble. Long, long. Kerry comments Russia's invasion and occupation of Ukraine territory. CNN: Russian President Vladimir Putin appears to be dismissing warning from world leader to avoid military intervention in Ukraine's Crimean. Peninsula, even amid amid growing evidence that pro-Russian forces were already in control of the region, the rhetoric escalated, escalated Saturday night with U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry condemning what he called the Russian federal. Fed Federation invasion and occupation of Ukraine territory, despite a statement by Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev that no decision had been made on whether Moscow would dispatch forces. Russia has not confirmed it deployed thousands of troops to the region following reports that. Are armed. Russian-speaking forced wearing military uniforms without insignia, patrolled key infrastructure sites. It was the la latest in fast-moving developments that saw Russians' parliament sign off on Putin's request to send military force into Ukraine. Rising the stake in stakes in the escalating game of brinksmanship, Putin cited in his request a threat posed to the living of Russian citizen and military personnel based in southern Crimea, an autonomous region of eastern Ukraine. Where loyalty to Russian are strong, Ukraine officials have vehemently denied Putin's claim. CNN crew in and around Crimean region's capital of Simferopol, meanwhile, have not seen evidence of a Ukraine military presence. Putin move promoted world di diplomats diplomats to call for a de -escal escalation of tensions that have put 
the two neighbors are on a possible path toward to a possible path to war and a road relation between Russia and the United States. In what happens to be an illu illu illustration of the growing screen between the two worlds power. US President Barack Obama and Putin spoke for ninety minutes, with each expressing their concern their concern over the mounting crisis according to separate statements released by their respective governments. According to the Kremlin, Putin told Obama that Russia reserved the right to defend its interests in Crimean region, and the Russian-speaking people who live there. President Obama made clear that Russian continued violation of Ukraine's sovereignty and territory integrity would ne negatively impact Russian's standing in the inter international community, according to a statement released by the White House. Learning to the West or to Russian. Ukraine, a national, uh, a nation of 45 million people, sandwiched between Europe and Russian southwestern south border, has been plunged into chaos since after a week ago of President Viktor Yankov, following bloody streets protests that leave dozens dead and hundreds wounded. Ukraine had, has faced a deep in skins with those in the West generally support, supporting the intern government and its European Union title. While many in the East prefer, prefer uh, Ukraine where Russia casts a long shadow. Now here is that feeling more inten intense than in screaming. The last big bastion of op opposition to the new political leadership. Ukraine suspects Russia of formating tensions in the outermost region that might escalate into a bid for separation by its Russian major majority. Ukraine acting president Olekester Turchyov took the airwaves late Saturday to warn that a Russian military intervention would lead to war. Prime Minister as Arashini Yet Yuk said his country was ready to mobilize its force to protect strategic location, including nuclear power plants. The troops are already there. The crisis raised alarm bells with the world diplomats with Ukraine Ambassador Yuri Sergrev calling on member nations of the UN Security Council to take a stand against what he called Russians' clear act of aggression. The troops are already there, and their number is increasing every hour. Sergrev said during an emergency meeting of the Security Council. Russia now has 15,000 troops in Ukraine, Crimea region. Yugur Panovarov, the spokesman for Ukraine mission at the United Nations, told CNN ahead of Saturday's 
Organization of the Sec Sec Security Council. He did not say how Ukraine arrived at that number or whether that included troops already stationed at Russian base in the region. Vitaly Chukkin, Russian's ambassador to the United Nations, rejected Ukraine's call to stop Russian intervention. We can't agree with this at all, he said. He blamed members of European Union for causing the bloody street demonstrations in Ukraine. It's a difficult situation in the past few hours, Kirking said, claiming that there were Ukraine force, forces from Kyiv and Kyiv en route to overthrow the loca local pro-Russian government in eastern Ukraine and Crimea and establish new ones that would enforce the power of the new Ukraine government. Kirking has had has said reported Kirking has said reported uh, reports of Russian troops stock taking charge of position on the ground were rumored and noted that Rumors are always not true. Kremlin's pro-Russian leaders ask for help. The Russian primate votes Saturday came on the day that the new installed pro-Russian leader of Kremlin, Sergei Eskonov, asked Putin for help in maintaining peace on the Black Sea Pensiona where Russian's fleet is based at Sivatopol. Security forces are unable to efficiently control the situation in the public, he said. In comments broadcast on Russian state's channel, Russian24, Afkanov was inst installed as the region's prime minister primer after armed men took over the Crimea Parliament building on the Thursday. As 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 Yonov said that a referendum on Greater Crimea autonomy originally set for May 25, so would be moved to March 30th. Yan Yatsenyuk called the Russian presence presence in Crim. Crimea a provocation. Ukraine will not be provoked. We will not use force. We demand that the government of the Russia Federal Federation immediately withdraw its troops and return to their home bases, he said during the television cabinet meeting. Meanwhile, Ukrainian Defense Minister Igor Tanyuk that his nation's military was at the was was at its highest state of military readiness. He created the negotiations during the day between the Ukraine and Russian now chiefs with easing tensions and said more negotiations were planning for Sunday. Airspace in the region responded Saturday a day after Ukraine accorded Russian Black Sea forces of trying to seize two airports in cinema, but said Ukraine security force had prevented them from taking control. Groups of armed men dressed in uniforms without identifying insignia patrolled in the airports in Sminferpool and the nearby port city of Sivatopol. The men remained at the airport Saturday, but Yvgy Plevkin, director of the airport in Sinferpol 
that airport servers were working. Obama, we're warning to Russia. Meanwhile, Obama's message to Russia also re re reached Congress where the ranking members of the Senate Armed Service Committee called for an immediate response to Russian move. Every moment that the United States and our allies fail to respond sends the signal to President Putin that he can be even more ambitious and aggressive in his military intervention in Ukraine. Seeing John McCain, our Arizona, Arizona said in a statement. He called on Obama to make clear what cause Russia will face for its ag uh, aggression and to impose those consequences without further delay. Senior White House office officials say they they are looking at the wide range of possibility, economic and economic and diplomatic measures to pre present to Obama that would show Putin there is a cost to his action in Ukraine. The White House has already announced the United States will suspend participation in prepared in part in preparator meeting for the G8 summit that will bring world leaders together in June in Skalchi, Russia. Going forward, Russia's continued violation of international law will lead to great political and economical isolation, according to a statement released by the minister. Pish Pre-sure was mounting on Russia as leader for the EU, and the UK joined an international accord with EU High Representative Captain Afton, deploying Russia's unwarranted escalation of tensions. During a phone call with Putin, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said he told the Russian leader that it was crucially to restore claim and proceed to an immediately de-escalation of the state of the situation. Core heads must prevail and dialogue, dialogue must be only tool in the ending this crisis, he said. Eleven things to know about Lunar New Year. CNN. Red packs of money will change hands and dragon dance will roller through the streets as people around the world, predominantly of China descent, rush in the year of hot horse. Beyond the usual Lunar Year traditions, however, is a holiday full of interest, quirks, and customs. Local, first, locals don't call it Chinese New Year. In China, the festival are known as Spring Festival, or Lunar Year, or Lunar New Year. The New Year is determined by the lunar calendar. And the Chinese aren't the only ones who observed it. From late July, from late January to mid February, February, Korea, Vietnam, and other countries celebrate Lunar New Year. Second, terrific is Charles. Lunar, Lula, Lunar New Year is basically like having an entire country throw a family re reunion all at once. Traffic around uh, arm aggregate inevitable strikes. In China, the spring festival travel rush period is the country's is the country's, if not the world's, biggest season of man migration. Migration, rather pushing their way into packed buses, buying black market tickets from 
skate player or standing for hours on crowded train travel train. Travelers do what, whatever it takes to see loved ones. With com with commuters and migrate mi migrant workers returned home, the government expects three point three point sixty two billion journeyers to take place this year, according to Qinghu News. In Korea last year, nearly 30 million people visited their hometown by car, bus, train, or plane, according to Korea Expressway Co Co Cooperation. Third, it's not just one day. Lunar, year, Lunar New Year lasts 15 days, starting from July, January, January 31st, 2014. This year, is, its last day falls on Valentine's Day. It's an action-packed holiday. If you can beat on horse race, watch Paradise, which Paradise, bargain in bazaars, and fight for prime worship spot at the temple. It's a season of superstition, superstition. During El Lunar New Year, you live like a college student on the first day, which means no showers, laundry, or cleaning. Above all, there's no talking about the, taking out the trash during, so it's said to wash away your luck and prosperity. You hang out with family on the second day, which is considered the beginning of the new year. Fifth, you can't rent a boyfriend. Lunar year can be rough for singles, especially females. Many family re reunions are highly are highlighted by dreaded interrogations of single who haven't settled down. Now there is a solution. Boyfriend rentals. <laughs> China's largest online retailer Taobao Ta 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 has a section for fake boyfriend rentals, so parents and relatives can finally stop nagging. Rent a bo uh, renting a bogus marriage prospect range from RMB five hundred to 8,000 per day. The package comes with a free embrace, hand holding, and a goodbye kiss on the cheek, as well as the list of additions that specific service char ch ch charges. Six, six. Odd linguistic customs are observed. You can, however, turn the Chinese character for luck upside down to make it dull and put it on your door to bring in good luck fortune for the new year. Firecrackers are for scary, scary, scaring away monsters. The older people would light bamboo stocking on fire to frightening the monster. Nowadays, you can watch the spectacular fireworks to play along the Hong Kong waterfront to play fireworks in Beijing, Hong Kong. 8. Red odors are critical for sun. That's because that pesky lunar, lunar New Year monster has X-ray vision, but because red undies suspendedly and of misfortune in this unlucky year. Interestingly, the contents term for pants sounds exactly like the words for health. It's a time for sweet. Food is central to all Chinese festivals, but sugar, cake, sugar snacks are especially important for Lunar New Year since they return up prospects for the coming year. It has its own moving it has its own movie genre. 
China and Hong Kong have a film genre called Hespun, developed to New Year. The films are usually illogical, uplifting comedies with a focus on families and happy endings to make viewers feel warm and fuzzy. Customs are flexible. Customs and superstitions aren't set in the stone. There is room for flexibility in their inter interpretation and application. Standing shoes for the entire lunar month. That depends on how you read the rule. The word for shoe might sound like sighting, but it also sounds like harmony. Now, showering for the snake of Lunar New Year may pass on the may may pass on that for obvious hygienic reasons. In the end, Lunar New Year is really about having a great great time with family and friends. So many opt not to read the details. Chinese police saved hundreds of babies from online trading wreck. China has smashed four children's tracking rings and arrested more than a thousand people for using websites and instant message groups to trade babies, China authorities said Friday. On, fi in, on February 19, police from 27 provinces across China reduced but recused, re, recused, three hundred rescued, rescued three hundred and eighty-two babies and arrested one thousand and ninety-four suspects of buying and selling infants online. China Mis Minister of Public Security said in a statement on its website. Further investigation uncovered a virtual black market involving four websites, unlike four, four, four games, and some 30 groups on the popular Chinese message platform that connected traffickers with potential buyers. According to local media reports, 27 suspects were arrested in those Country's southern section province were 13 babies were all, were also reduced. <clears throat> Another 43 suspects were arrested and 11 babies, 11 babies <coughs> rescued in Anhui <coughs> province in eastern China. <coughs>